Hello everyone, I am Marie-Pierre Stark-Flora, the founder of Herman Flora. We are very, very happy today to welcome our uh, latest athlete of life, uh, a remarkable um, uh, gentleman, uh, Jean-Claude Thibault, who is one of the most gifted and prolific uh, commercial uh, videographer. And he's also working on uh, fiction work uh, as well. And uh, we are so excited to have him uh, with us to today. We are a, a big fan of his work. And he has been also helping the brand uh, for, for the launch uh, uh, that we did recently. Um, so our first question to, um, to Jean-Claude today is, um, what does being an athlete of life mean to you? How would you uh, uh, explain and um, define it? Good morning. Um, an athlete of life for me is uh, someone who, um, who challenges uh, himself or herself. Um, and I think uh, for me is when you don't have any boundaries anymore, you try to always to uh, go f further up. Uh, and I think that's what you are when you're an athlete. You don't just take it easily. Uh, you just move forward. And what is your odyssey? Uh, please tell us about your your journey. This started um, in Annecy, Haute Savoie, in France, uh, where I grew up. Um, I was um, skiing every winter, like we woke up at six o'clock in the morning until uh, end of the day. You know, freezing, sunny or, or snow, uh, we had to go and, and ski a, a lot. Um, then after, until 20 years old, I did a lot of sport and my odyssey began because I was a passionate person, especially about photography and film. So I moved to Paris, uh, so a little period in San Diego at university, uh, and then I stopped completely sport. Uh, but I had uh, the chance to have a passion, so something to create some energy for me, uh, and it kept me uh, running until now. And what is the, the, where do you find your energy? What is your uh, recovery secret? For me, uh, I have two components. I think my energy is my passion. Uh, I think it's because I always having projects, always driving uh, uh, me uh, somewhere, you know, somewhere unknown, somewhere where I can just uh, challenge myself again, as I said. And I, and I think that's where I, I get everything, uh, my passion. Maybe the second thing will be the people around me uh, who drive me or force me to, to, to not be always seated behind a computer or on a, on a chair, but trying to get me discover the world. So I love to travel. I've been in many countries for works, but also in vacation. And I think that's very important. So I, I recover through um, these two rituals. So we are very precise, art, and then uh, meeting human beings. What makes you smile? Yes. L'insouciance, you will translate in, uh, in English, l'insouciance. Uh, I think when you in life, you don't care of all the issue or the outcome. I think it's very important to have this choix de vivre. It was very reflected in Jean-Luc Godard movies in the 70s, following the camera behind the girl in the car and jump cut, clack, 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 and we see that life is going and it's what it matters is they are together. This uh, insouciance, joie de vivre, and also, I think when I witness um, tenderness, I think I have these uh, things when I see something with tender. I mean, when you have kids, when you have animals, when you have uh, parents, grandparents, and you see something make you um, sweeter. Uh, I think it's very important. That's make me smile. Like if you were to pick one movie uh, that, you know, you wish you had made, which one would that be? Lawrence of Arabia, mm -hmm. uh, Lawrence Arabi, uh, by David Lynn. Uh, it's, uh, first of all, it's like four hours uh, film. They shot in summer, I think they shot in Jordania, uh, in a time where nothing was really ready. Camera was in film, 70 millimeters, like humongous. So, uh, and the story, the structure, the film, it's about a man who go and he has a, he has a, a beautiful uh, uh, dream. He wants to reunite it. Um, the Arabic uh, countries, and he go and he go to the desert, and he's a sol British soldier. And when he go, he always play with uh, uh, matches, you know, and he burns himself. He's trying to to 
to, to switch uh, to light off the, the matches. But one moment, uh, we offer him to go to the desert and he take the matches and he blow. And then we cut to the, um, to the desert. I think this one and in Stanley Kubrick movie, that's two shots who say that's cinema. And then you establish a story of a man who have a big dream, it's impossible to do it, and he's going to try to bring back Arabs together, and uh, and he will have to uh, save friends and kill them after. So I think the drama, the arc, is really in the movie something bigger than life. It's almost like historical uh, film, historical film. That's this kind of film uh, are really like pure cinema. Being an athlete of life, how would you like to impact the life of others? I think when you are an athlete of life, you 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 succeed, uh, you uh, enjoy, you live your life with courage, and then automatically it will impact the people you love because you can sh demonstrate, like for your know, kids, that life is uh, worth to to live. You know, so I think it's very important to to be yourself, um, and the magic will uh, will uh, work. If you were not a filmmaker, what would you be? I think I will be or an architect um, or a spy. So I, could, I, I could see you as a spy. Nice filmmaking inside, you know. <laughs> What's the most important thing you have learned on your journey and that you think could inspire our followers and your followers? Well, I think uh, the most inspiring thing is for me is trying, you know, trying and, 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 f and be able to fall and, and restart again and again. And I think this is what we all do. I always say, I have two kids, you know, take your fears like a little rabbit and you carry the fear, you know it. It will stay here, it will not disappear. It will maybe even force you, but that's where um, I, I get everything, you know, to know myself, to know my, uh, my quality and my, uh, my, mm, some mistake I do all the time, even the repetition. Uh, uh, always uh, something you need to know, and then you try to avoid. No, I, I agree. I think that um, I think that falling down and and getting up is where we learn the most. Um, I've always said that failure, in a way, is the best teacher and and probably the biggest gift you can get in life um, because you learn about yourself and you realize that actually you're able to get up again, uh, which uh, helps you conquer your fears and um, uh, get on with the odyssey and keep uh, going with your journey. And, and, and I agree, I think, uh, I think that's the best way to, to, to go about life. And I love the image of uh, the, the rabbit uh, being, being your, your fears and you just have to, to tame it and, uh, and make it your friend and, and keep, keep moving. And don't forget to wear an helmet when you do that, you know, if you fall. That's true, that's true, that's true. Thank you so much, Jean-Claude. Um, yeah. Wonderful to 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 know you and to work with you. And um, again, we're big fans. Uh, we love, 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 love your work. We think it's beautiful and 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 stunning. And keep creating beautiful, uh, beautiful films uh, for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Marie.